Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today I am here with the contents of cephalopelvic disproportion. The disparity in relation between the head and pelvis is called cephalopelvic disproportion. What causes cephalopelvic disproportion? It may be due to large baby, hereditary factors, diabetes, post maturity that is still pregnant after the due date has passed, multiparity, not the first delivery, abnormal fetal positions, small pelvis, abnormally shaped pelvis, etc. The symptoms which include prolonged labor, large fundal height, high amount of amniotic fluid, cervical dilatation and effacement are slow. Engagement of the presenting part is delayed. Adequacy of the maternal pelvis small for the size of fetus. Diagnosis of cephalopelvic disproportion include listed below are several method employed by the physician to try and access the size of the pelvis and the baby which can help to diagnose CPD which include pelvimetry by MRI, clinical pelvimetry, ultrasound, x-ray or CT pelvimetry. You have to note that true CPD cannot always be clearly diagnosed before the beginning of labor. If the medical professionals believe they may be dealing with a case of CPD but are not entirely sure, they may still attempt a vaginal delivery. However, they should be prepared to quickly move on to an emergency cesarean section or other interventions. How we can treat CPD? The treatment of CPD is continue with the labor or move on to a cesarean section. The goal of treatment is to have a safe delivery. So the doctors will decide how to treat the condition based on how the delivery is going. Trial of labor. When there is a possibility of CPD, the doctors may decide to let you try to labor. If your labor is moving along well, it may continue along with close monitoring of your contractions, dilatations and baby's progression down the birth canal, close monitoring of the baby's movement and the heart rate, confirmation of the baby's position with a vaginal examination, other tests such as x-ray, ultrasound or MRI to visualize the baby's head and your pelvis. During the trial of labor, you can help to open your pelvis and move the labor along by changing position with the help of your nurse, dola or partner. You can try sitting, squatting, changing sides, going on your hands and knees etc. If it is severe and diagnosed early, a planned cesarean section is indicated. In other case, CPD may be treated with symphysiotomy, that is surgical division of pubic cartilage or an emergency cesarean section after a trial of labor. The listed below are the issues and complications that can occur when CPD is present. That is due to overdose of pitocin. It is the synthetic oxytocin. One of the major problem with CPD is that physicians may react by administering pitocin in an effort to speed up delivery. Too much of this drug may cause excessive and traumatic contractions which can harm the baby. Due to prolonged labor, the hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy, cerebral palsy, developmental delays, intracranial hemorrhages or brain bleeds, shoulder dystocia. When CPD is present, the baby is more likely to have shoulder dystocia injuries including Erb's palsy and Klumke's palsy. Umbilical cord compression is also one of the complications. Thank you. Have a nice day.